Hello, welcome to another Tonalist Landscape oil painting demonstration. This is your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy, and the painting I am bringing you today is called Twilight Harbor. It's a 5x10, and I painted it like maybe January, February of this year, uh, 2019. Today is Sunday, June 16th, 2019, and I hope you're having a good day been a pretty decent day here although it looks like the clouds might be coming in we're in for some rain um, this uh, scene is based on a uh, um, or I should say this painting is based on the scene I came across uh, on vacation about six six months ago maybe a little further back and um, sort of a simple scene you know of a bay or a harbor and uh, a lot of what I think carries it is just the tonal quality. The composition is sound. It's not um, it's not the most uh, stimulating composition ever, but I think it's attractive and I think it works. And one of the things I was experimenting with here was was doing like these this parallel based composition. So we have a band of dark on the bottom, a band of water, a smaller band of land, and then a larger band of sky. So everything is definitely stressing the horizontal nature and this is the kind of thing I think that would work really well um, quite large you know yeah and hopefully I'll get a chance to to maybe uh, realize that um, I am looking forward in the future to getting into some larger work when I can't say because uh, I'm still waiting for my my new studio to actually be constructed and completed but when it is you know that's on the agenda and uh, you can be sure that I'll, I'll take some time to uh, record what I'm doing. I'm not sure how, because everything I do now is real. Is the setup is quite easy at the small scale. Everything's quite easy at the small scale, but I am looking forward to doing some much bigger work, and I think that uh, uh, there's definitely, I, I have definitely, you know, heard the marketplace. There's a demand for larger work. People want big things for the mantle or over the couch or things like that, and... Uh, I don't know, it'll, it'll be fun to get into it, I think. Anyway, um, if you haven't already, would you please do me the kindness of smashing the like button and uh, subscribing if you are if you haven't already and if you think uh, you'd like to see more of these videos. I'm pretty consistent. Um, I want to point out that the, uh, the, the real nature of the channel is to show painting demonstrations. I'm not into... Uh, blow by blow, telling you what colors I'm using here or there. Um, I have had some requests recently for um, that sort of video, and uh, I may actually get together a a video series. One of the things I'm contemplating, I have I you're not not making my problems yours, but I am a one man uh, operation and. Um, basically things got really tough once I started getting back into doing music and um, I've got music I've got painting and I've got marketing for both those things and um, that pretty much occupies all my time in order to get involved with some sort of video series uh, it would mean something's something else is going to need to go by the wayside so uh, one of the ideas I've had is possibly uh, maybe doing like a GoFundMe campaign because the only, um, well, I'm here to help. I'm here to help you for absolutely no, uh, zero amount of money. You ask me any question in the comments and I will get back to you or send me an email. And uh, those of you that have contacted me via email, I'm sure um, you, maybe you could let the, uh, the other viewers of this channel know. I give extensive replies to just about any question that's asked of me. And... Uh, it's my nature to be helpful, um, but it's also uh, my nature to, to need to pay my bills and to get um, my own life um, done. And, uh, you know, really the only reason to get into some sort of hardcore video series would be uh, because it was some sort of money-making operation. So um, I'll tell you what, you know, if I get 10 replies, well, make it between comments and emails that people are into some sort of uh, video uh, educational series um, 
I'll set up a GoFundMe and then we'll need to see how that goes. So, uh, and uh, we'll, we, we will see. I, I, in fact, I'm not saying I won't maybe do something like that at some point in the future. I've had quite a few ideas rolling around in my mind for ways that would be great to teach tonalism. Um, like I said, though, it's like uh, so many things pull at my time that uh, ultimately I have to make doing the paintings themselves the ultimate priority. It's very easy to get lost in other activities and then next thing you know as you look at look behind you at the time that's flown by and you'll see that you didn't actually do very much work and, he, and a painter that doesn't do paintings is like what's the point of that and I've seen that happen to painters they got very busy with some aspect of their business or or in the teaching and or just became teachers instead of painters I'm not I'm, I'll be honest, I'm not very interested in that. I I got into this painting thing because I want to make paintings and I want to leave behind beautiful artifacts for the future, you know. Um, that could be a bit of vanity, but... Well, it kind of ties into something else I wanted to talk about on this video. I get, I get a lot of requests for people wanting a more educational approach to the channel, but, you know... The thing is, is like I don't think people realize that. Well, f well, first of all, let me preface everything I'm going to say by first saying I have a ton of respect for anybody that wants to spend time doing art. I think that's awesome. It puts you miles ahead of um, all the drones just hanging on their phones, you know, and not producing anything, just spectating their way through their lives to you know an eventual grave. And when they look back and say, what did I produce? What, how was I creative? You know, they won't have much to show for it because they spend all their time just spectating. So please keep that in mind with everything I'm saying that I have tons of respect for you. If you're a person that wants to learn how to paint, I'm here for you. I'm here to help you. But what I'm not here to do is provide um, two instructional videos every week. Um, it's just not... It's not it's not what I'm about. Like I said, I, I could get into doing some instructional stuff, and if I did, it'd be for pay. And um, if you're into that, well, this is your big chance. You know, if you've been dying for that uh, tonalist instructional video series, uh, leave me a comment, let me know, and um, send me an email, and uh, we'll go from there. The other thing I want to say is that, you know, painting is not something that. Uh, it's just about smacking colors down on a canvas or a board. There's a lot of metaphysical and philosophical aspects to painting that people aren't, lay people aren't aware of. And you know, you might think, well, well that makes no sense, Michael. It's just painting. And you're sure anybody can do a painting. Anyone can go down to the uh, art store and get some paints and brushes and make a picture. And most of those pictures aren't going to be worth looking at. Um, and the thing is, like most of your friends, they'll lie to you. Oh, that's really nice. Da, 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 da. They might even buy one from you just because they're your friend. Um, how are strangers interacting with your work? You know, people that have no reason to care about you. Are they, are they um, picking up your work? And if they are, it's because their imaginations are engaged and you're having an impact on their life that's positive. Um, and through the use of visual imagery, which is very potent and powerful and archetypal, you know, or archetypal. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Um, so I'm not saying you need to sit there and read, you know, Plato or Socrates or Aristotle or uh, Sartre or any of these guys prior to doing a painting. But what I am saying is that painting um, is a reflection of your life and that should be a considered life. That should be... Uh, a life where you're asking some of the big questions like why are we here what is the best use of our time how is what is the best way to interact with our fellow human beings um, you know why does painting matter why do I want to paint what is the reason that I feel I need to leave some sort of painting uh, around for other people these are the real questions you should be digging into seriously digging into. I'm not saying you can't do a painting without a answering these questions, but 
if you want to produce work that's you know of the quality of my work um, that's going to be a component you can't get away from it uh, there's just no getting away from it um, now if you that said there's total mechanical aspects to painting too and that's the stuff that's easy to talk about that's the stuff to, that's the, that people really tend to latch on to because you know they look at it they can see it they can see something's happening um, but really to a large degree uh, figuring out these other questions um, if you figured out these other questions and then you started to paint you would be a much better painter just just because you took the time to have some intellectual rigor you know and I know this is boring for some people um, but every now and again I roll out a philosophical video and I guess today is that day um, and like I said I'm not here to tell people off or any of that um, if you watch this channel I totally appreciate it and I, I would like to remind people as well that um, the main purpose of the channel is just to show demonstrations of the paintings being done for people that like to watch paintings getting done so if you aren't into my um, narrative uh, just mute it and put on some music you like that that's one of the things I was planning on doing with these videos I was never actually planning on talking my way through each video um, but I ended up doing that and there's quite a lot of me talking out there and uh, you know it is what it is uh, hopefully uh, some of you appreciate it and get something from it in fact I know some of you do because I get positive feedback and I get I get negative feedback too like oh when are you gonna stop burbling and just start talking about what color you're using right now and these people are looking for you know instructional guidance and that's understandable I certainly was for a large part of the time that uh, uh, I started painting um, but the YouTube wasn't a thing back then really there wasn't video after video of some people painting and and you know there is on YouTube not that I'm you know, trying to sh chase you away but if you're if you're looking for something more instructional then just keep clicking on stuff until you find someone's gonna talk you through everything and uh, now you might say to me well geez but they're not doing the tonalist style like you are yeah well <laughs> just be thankful for what you've got how about that <laughs> How about that? That's what I do, man. I pray for, I pray every night. I'm thankful, you know, for the life I have and the ability to produce beautiful paintings and beautiful music and uh, to have wonderful people in my life. And and I'm thankful for the audience I have here on YouTube and uh, um, the people that support me by buying a painting or even, you know, giving me a like, a thumbs up. That's great. In fact, I really appreciate that. And I. Hopefully you're getting that. You get that I appreciate you. But uh, I'm trying to school you on the nature of reality here. I'm trying to school you um, on what's involved with doing high caliber work. And what's involved is working hard. Um, so if you, you're you looking for something that's a little maybe like you want to get great results but you want it to be easy, uh, you, might, you might maybe look into doing some crafts or... Um, or clay actually is a good one. I, I tell you the art center where I have my studio Tons of people have all kinds of fun dabbling with clay Messing around with that, you know, anybody can make something and it's fun. It's great And I'm encouraging I encourage anyone that wants to do art visual art to do it um, but if You want to do work at a high level um, you need to work hard you need to paint every day you need to do something other than watching videos on YouTube. Um, that can help you, but uh, I'd say for every 10 minutes you might be spending watching my channel, you should be spending an hour to two uh, doing your own painting, and that would be worth watching a hundred of my videos because um, you need to, to get in there and get your hands dirty and um, engage with the actual reality that is painting. And uh, I gotta go right now, but um, I just wanted to communicate some of these ideas to you today. I really appreciate you, and hopefully uh, you got something from what I had to say today. Or if not, uh, you've already muted the video and you're listening to some rock and tunes, which is all good. 
I'll be back real soon with another video. Meanwhile, please do me a favor. Take good care and stay out.